Hello, my name is Brian Gielbach and I will be a guest commentator in this video for Dweebovision. I am a North American Scrabble expert and in this video I am going to play Scrabble while providing in-game commentary on my moves. Hopefully this will help to improve your game and be fun to watch. I will be playing this game with the North America Tournament word list and the double challenge rule in which a lost challenge results in a loss of turn. The game is just about to start, so let's join the action. Okay, it's me to go first. This looks close to a bingo. Adipus, I believe, has an I in it. I don't think I have a bingo here, but let me look at this for just a second. I don't think there is one. Okay, so I have a U which I want to use and a duplicated A. Now, how can I best use the tiles I don't want to keep? I'd like to use a, a U and an A. Well, I don't see a good way to do that without using the S as well. So maybe I'm just going to play... Hmm. How about APO? ADUS is not a great leave, and I want to play this in a better position. Okay. I couldn't think of anything really good there. I'm sure the computer will see something better after the game, but I don't want to spend too much time at this early stage of the game. Now I have an X for scoring. I'm going to see how I can use that to maximum effect. I'd still like to use the U, and now I have a duplicated D. Now this is a protein, so it does take a back S. All right, my opponent plays Flamer. Now, a D fits here, an A could fit here. Where can I put my X? I could play Pax. That's not going to score much for the X. I don't see a great score for the X right now. Now, I could play uh, something like a Deuce. That would put a letter in the triple lane. Not a great play. Also, I could pluralize Flamer. I could play Caudex. That gets rid of the U and the duplicated D, keeping DS and scores 22 points. Not a great score, but uh, this play does have some good things going for it. All right. That looks like the word guest, and I'm guessing that I'll be able to play that. Right now that plays here in column 12, also in row I. Now, do I have any other words? Not that I can see. Now, which one would score the most? Pluralizing Flamer is going to score most because not only do I get the points for Flamers, but I'll get a double word score here in column 12. Now, it's possible my opponent could end up blocking both of those plays. What else could I do if that does end up getting blocked? Not sure what would be even close to as good as those bingos. Well, I have a U and a duplicated E and a duplicated S. The G is not a great tile. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to play a bingo somewhere, so 
it sometimes make it makes it difficult uh to be motivated to look for other plays when you're focused on the bingo but you should try anyway uh you always should be trying to figure out uh something on the board uh maybe i'll take this point to look at the words on the board and look for any good uh extensions or hooks well, nothing super useful is popping to mind there. All right, that does not block guest here. Now, G-U-E-S-S-E-D, or I could score more points by getting the D here on the double letter square. So that's how I'm going to do it. All right, 84 points. Okay, and I draw the first blank, which is good. Now, in addition to the blank, I have a V and a W. Now, vrow, I believe, is not a verb, so I can't play vrowing. But I could play maybe vow or there's an A of vow somewhere. Now, maybe Vrow will play somewhere. Keeping IG blank would be a pretty good combination because I would be very likely to be able to make a bingo with an ING ending. Somatol, nice play by my opponent. Now, I wonder, does this give me... Now, I don't believe that takes a back S. I think that is an adjective. But let's just look at these different floaters to see if we might have a bingo. Looking through the L. That doesn't look promising. The A might be more promising. Overawing would be a nine letter word and wouldn't fit here anyway with the A in this spot. How about the T? don't think so. How about the I? I don't think so. I might just cycle really quickly here and see if anything pops into mind in terms of a bingo, keeping in mind the different floaters on the board. I think the V and the W effectively kill the bingo chances here. I'd have an over prefix, but uh, I would really need probably an E on the board. Okay, this doesn't look like anything, so how can I play? I would like to play vow if I can, but that doesn't fit anywhere. I could just play va, and that takes a back S, and I have a blank. So I would be able to use that hook if I have an S bingo. This uses my two worst tiles, and I have good balance with the blank. I like this play. All right. Now, unfortunately, I draw duplicated I and O, and that makes it unlikely that I have a bingo, although I'm going to just, again, cycle really quickly here and see if anything crazy pops into mind. This doesn't look promising again. Hmm. It almost looks like something. Origin plus an I. Dilative, another bingo by my opponent. Nice find. All right. Now, maybe that E will give me a help in trying to find something here, although I'm not hopeful that I do have a bingo. 
All right, I'm not seeing anything now. My priority here is going to be cleaning up this rack as quickly as possible, also keeping the board open so that I can get a bingo and get back in the game. Now, I need to get rid of at least one I and one O. Agio I'd have if there were an A to play through. There is not one. Hmm. If there were a T to play through, I'd have Griot. Or an R, I'd have Rigor. Hmm. This combination of letters is not very fun. All right. All right, just looking uh, on the board here for places for the I and the O. I could just play OI. It's a low score, though. The leave would be balanced, but is not the most bingo friendly, although I still have the blank and the IG to go with it. OI. Hmm. And it sort of takes out a bingo lane, although this is not a great bingo lane to begin with. Well, I'm not seeing much else for now. It keeps the other bingo lanes open, though. So I'm going to hope for a better draw this time and a bingo right away. All right, that looks like that might be something. All right, so let's see what we might have here. All right, another high score by my opponent. I'm almost 100 points behind now, so I will need to get the scoring going myself here to get back in the game. Now, that's close to Glorial, but I have two E's. Eloiner. If I had an L to play through, there's not enough space to play through this L. Mm, I almost had orogenic to the C, but again, I don't quite have the right vowels. This almost looks like something. Not quite. All right. Well. All right. I cycled through. If I missed one, it's uh, not an easy word to spot. Okay, so... What is the likelihood my opponent has an S? There's only two S's remaining. If I play Dogi for nine points, I'm setting up this spot for an S hook for a possibly high scoring play, which I need at this point. ER blank is an excellent leave. I'm very likely to have a bingo with this rack. I might be willing to take this risk. Now, I should try to score more points if I can. But at this point, I'm willing to take a risk and see if I can get a really high score on the next play. All right, but that is not a bingo-y rack. Now, could I do something... Well, I could play Drex with the S as a blank. That would be 54 points. That's an almost reasonable bingo score. 
it does take out that spot so my opponent won't be able to use it. Do I have a better play, and particularly something that does not use the blank, or a bingo? This doesn't look like this is going to be a bingo. And other than this play, all right, so my opponent is trying to block this, correctly noting that I probably have an S or a blank. Now, Drex was block, blocked, but can I do something else instead that also scores a lot of points? Well, the S would have to, the blank would have to go here as an S. Hmm. An E could go here. I just don't have much of anything that would be worth using the blank for now. So. What I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to... Now, a K goes here for Koi. So normally I would want to get rid of the K right away, but maybe what I want to do is use some other tiles, try to score, although getting a bingo with a K is not the easiest of feats either. Feet, not this kind of feat. All right. Well, I could do Drek here, and I still have a bingo lane here through this G. I have additional bingo lanes through the D and the R. RT blank is not a terrible leave, and I still have this possibility open if I draw some tiles for a high point play here. Drek, 25 points, keeps me within shouting distance. All right, now, I don't have any vowels, but I'd have partying through an A or an I. Unfortunately, I don't have those in the right spots. Now, my opponent is going to try to block down bingo lanes, which makes a lot of sense. All right, so where can I make a play that uses some consonants? I need to play through a vowel. Well, I could play pay here. That's, again, a terrible score. I was looking through the AU here, not seeing anything there. An R would fit here, T would fit here. Uh, almost gentry, but not quite. I don't know that I want to use a lot of tiles because if I empty the bag really quickly, that will give me less time to catch up. Now, my opponent blocked bingo lanes there. I'd like to use three consonants if I can, though. Well, maybe just yap. Although the Y is sort of a vowel. But I think I have to score points and get to the most bingo -y leave that I can as quickly as possible. 16 points. Not a great score, but hopefully I'll draw some vowels. All right, I do draw a vowel. If I did ing, all right, that blocks this bingo lane through the R. Now, do I have something through the D? Not likely. Now, I wonder if I have something going to the O or through the O. That looks possible. 
Now I'm getting a little low on time here. See how quickly I can go through this here. No. Starling. Are there any hooks, uh, any hooks to make a eight letter? Well, if I could start with a vowel, I might be able to get eight letter here. Hmm. You know, if I could put an S here and a vowel here, I maybe could have a triple triple. Maybe I should play for that. I'm well behind in the score. How could I best do that? If I could play off two more consonants, maybe open up a decoy spot that would draw my opponent. All right, I'm getting in desperation mode here. I need to do something that takes a hook so that my opponent will be drawn to it. And I, I just need to make more openings in general. What can I do here? Gel, tell, gen, ten. I can't think of something that allows for front hooks. Maybe I just play. Oh boy. Let could take a front B, but there's no Bs. Leg can't take, takes a front G. Well, I have the blank. This is an excellent leave. Maybe my opponent will be drawn up here somehow. I don't see how, though. But this is a pretty good leave. I still could play through the O and I have this desperation spot for the triple triple. All right, I'm not thinking of anything else at the moment. Seven points. Terrible score. All right. Now I have duplicated N, duplicated A. And if I'm looking to play through the N, that's not useful. And my opponent gets an 89-point play. That's pretty much going to do it here in this game. All right. So... Trad... All right, so my opponent was shooting for that spot as well. That's an excellent score. I never really had anything after my opponent played feet to play there. All right. Well, I'd have entrance through the T if the T was one spot lower. Well, this ended up being a blowout. I uh, spent a lot of time trying to get to a bingo rack and never quite made it. Looking to the O and seeing if I could think of a nine letter play. I can't think of anything there. My opponent has been doing a good job of blocking opening, so I'm expecting my opponent will play up here. Now, 
I still could try some desperation setups knowing that I have the blank. If I could think of a way to open up a lane that only I can use, I could at least get a bingo and try to reduce the spread somewhat. I'm getting blown out at the moment. It would be nice to see if I could be within 100 points at the end. All right. All right. ETH Ethician. I see I A N. If I could draw another I, I'd have Ethician, which would be a nice play there. So what do I want to keep? A, C, N, and blank. So I want to play off R, E, N. All right. So earn. Okay. And I don't have to play off all of those tiles. All right. And I'm getting a little low on time. Okay, just not seeing any possibilities here. This is one of those games where my brain is just going blank. Well, if I played Jen, I'm likely to pull an eye. There are a lot of eyes in the bag. I would like to get an eye for Ethician. I don't draw an eye. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> when you don't want eyes, you end up with three of them on your rack. All right, any other ETH words? Not that I could think of. Good score by my opponent. Now I have rankers, but there's no way to play that. Okay. I'm going to play ORR or at least two of those. I'm not scoring many points with these fishing type plays, though. But I'm not really seeing much of anything else to do in this game. All right, four points. This is quite bad. All right, so to all of you watching, this is how not to play Scrabble. <laughs> all right, and that doesn't really open up a spot for me. I wish I could have played a bingo. I still want to use an O and an R. I'm still shooting for an I. There are three I's. I'm very likely to draw one if I can play off O, S, or O, R. Well, then my opponent is likely to play in that triple lane. I don't want him to do that. All right, and now I'm almost out of time. So, for 14, and I still don't draw an eye. My opponent has all three eyes. Why is my opponent hoarding the eyes? Because he knows it will be annoying to me. <laughs> All right. And I've had, I think I had this rack at least once or twice before in this game. This is Ranker's rack, and it doesn't play anywhere, which is very annoying. All right, and that doesn't really open up anything for me. All right, I'm going to go over time here, but it's not going to cost me the game unless I go over by another minute. Let's play one, even though I didn't win. My opponent is not going to be able to go out right away. I have cars with two R's. That'll play here in row G to go out and end 
this horror show of a game. All right, this may be my lowest uh, score in any of the videos. Just uh, nothing I tried to do really worked. We'll uh, analyze the game following the end here and see what I could have done that is better, which is likely a lot. All right, and that ends it. All right, and uh, the final score is 459 points for my opponent, 269 points, a very low score for me, a uh, winning margin of 190 points for my opponent. Would have been 180, but I lost 10 by going over time. So let's analyze the game, see what I missed. All right, so this looked like a bingo rack. I spent some time looking for a bingo. There was no bingo. This is close to a couple different bingos, though, but uh, is not one. So I played a po. I could have played a pod for four more points. I kept a little bit more of a of a uh, balanced rack by playing off two vowels and one consonant. All right. Here I could play crux or caudex. Crux would have. Uh, been four more points that plays where 11 e all right that probably would have been a good play using up the u and the x codex also did that got some more tile turnover that looks like a bingo rack by my opponent i bet there's a bingo here there were a lot of bingos but my opponent didn't find one but uh, my opponent bingoed on subsequent plays so uh, not a huge loss I found guest and I played it in the maximum scoring point. My opponent got a bingo. Nice find. Okay, I could have played Virago, keeping blank W. Instead, I played Va, going for the best rack leave I can. Unfortunately, I ended up drawing an I and an O, which limited my my uh, bingo possibilities. Now I could have played Gooier. That would have been a really nice play. Using this triple lane and keeping just blank I. That seems like a reasonably good play. I just played OI going for my best rack leave. But then, unfortunately, my opponent takes this triple lane. So the disadvantage of leaving that open, basically a way to think of that. By making a play here, it's similar to a play where there was not a triple lane available and you made a play to open the triple lane. In effect, it's exactly the same thing. So it's sometimes easy to think, well, that triple lane's already open. Playing somewhere else is not such a biggie. But you know that you really wouldn't want to open up a triple lane. And this, in effect, is the same sort of thing. So that illustrates how gooier would have been a better play. All right, here I went for uh, some fireworks here. Unfortunately, I didn't draw the right uh, tiles to take advantage. Um, looking at Drek for 25, that was my play. And my opponent tries to uh, obstruct this more, and I draw no vowels. Now, I could have played Gyron at K4. Five. That looks like a pretty good play for 20 points. Instead, I played Yap for 16 points, four points fewer. Uh, not a terrible uh, amount less, but Gyron uses four consonants, if you consider the Y consonant, as opposed to two. So in terms of getting a balanced rack quickly, Gyron is a better play. Plus it scores four more points. Now, I don't believe I had a bingo here. I looked for a while. Integral. Okay, so where does that play? D1. I-N-T-E-G-R-A-L. Wow. Okay, so doing two overlaps, it's sometimes difficult to consider those spots. Now, if you recall during the game, I was looking through the R and the D, considering those as floaters. I wasn't really considering the E, 
But if I had, I would have found integral, and that would have got me right back in the game. So that was a key miss here. My opponent blocks things up more. Actually, that's me blocking up things more. Leg is a terrible play compared to the bingo. All right. And here I don't have any bingos, but Randan would have been interesting opening up a triple lane. I just played Trad opening up a triple lane. At this point, I'm pretty much lost because my opponent got that huge score there. Even if I got integral, my opponent would have got genes. I still would have been down a bingo, but there would have been a triple lane open for me. So that was a key miss. Integral, genes, I would have had a chance to make a comeback play. As it is, playing leg, that gave me really no chance. Now, I ended up with a lot of great racks, and I got fixated on playing ethician, which is a, a fun word that I've learned, and I didn't end up considering anything else for the rest of the game. And I felt like with all the eyes available, I would draw one. But let's see how many eyes my opponent had. My opponent only had one eye at this point. All right. Here I had. Now, Ethnark. That would have been another play I could have done. I did not think of Ethnark. I was uh, had my brain stuck on Ethician. Uh, trying desperately to get an eye. I don't get an eye. Garcons. Now, where does that play, though? Gleg. And, you know, I think I even mentioned during the game that Leg takes a front G hook, and then I didn't really consider that. And if I had, I might have seen that bingo to at least get close to 300 points in this game. Well, I fished for an eye. My opponent had all three eyes at this point, and I probably don't have a G bingo now. But I did have Ethnark, which was, again, a word I was not considering. One, and here I could have played Charo for one more point than Cars. Well, so it ended up being a blowout, but this uh, at least illustrates how a single key miss, in this case, the, the bingo of integral, had I found that, that would have kept me in the game despite uh, all the other suboptimal moves I had made to that point. So this illustrates how uh, it can look like a blowout and it can look like, well, there really wasn't anything I could have done in that game. But uh, usually there is something that you can do to keep yourself in it. So uh, if you didn't get anything else out of this game, at least you can get that, that uh, there's always something to look for and uh, something better that you probably could have done to keep it closer. Well, anyway, I... Uh, sort of apologize for not being competitive in this one, but I hope you got something out of it in any case, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. My name is Brian Gailbach, and this has been a video for DweeboVision.